Hi, Don here again with another one of our Keep IT Simple video tutorials. Today I'm going to take you through the configurations portion of our call tracking system. Basically what a configuration record is in the system for is anything that's important that we manage or keep track of for you. Things like your computers, your servers, your firewall, even down to stuff like your website hosting configuration, you know, where it's at, who, what the credentials are to get into it, that kind of thing. So you can see a lot of this information in the configuration records in case you need to go look at some of this information yourself. Maybe somebody's got a question about, hey, when did we buy that server or you know, when does the hardware warranty expire on that thing? You can find that information in here. So as you can see for this session, I'm already logged into our call tracking system here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the configurations tab. And just like when I went into my tickets tab, I get a, a list of all the configuration records that are out there currently right now. In this case, if I look over here on my search window, the, the default has checked both the active and inactive records. Now the reason there might be an inactive record is let's say that a device has been retired, we're no longer managing it, it's, it's turned off, it's off the network, but maybe we just want to keep that historical information about it on record. We'll mark that item as inactive. Um, it just kind of defaults to see them both so you know you could see them but if you wanted to make sure you were only seeing active items if you uncheck that inactive box hit search again your list will be refreshed with just your active items and again just like we did on the tickets I can change to this list view if I do that again I see just the abbreviated list of the different items that are in there and right now the system is defaulting to every type of item that that is available for me to look at if I want to narrow this list down, let's say you have a lot of stuff in there, maybe you just want to see your managed servers, you can check that box. Now we're going to see just active managed servers. I'm going to click search again, and over here on the left you're going to see my list gets a little bit shorter. I'm down to 10 items now where I had like 14 before. So um, another thing to be, remember as you're looking around here is this items per page view, just like on tickets. You can change that where you can see perhaps only five items and do next page, previous page, etc. Or if you're not, you want to see the whole list or up to 25 items, you can make this list longer. You'll see more things there. If I come down here on the left, again over in the search box, you can see there's several different options available to me. Servers, workstations, NAS devices, phones, routers and firewalls, um, that kind of thing. Oh, let's, let's stick firewall in there. Hit search again. Now you can see here's our sonic wall, firewall listed. And once you look at these, as you look at these individual items here now, as you hover over the name of the item, you can see it is a hot link, just like the ticket. It will take us into the information that we know about this device. And a lot of these devices will have um, different questions that are, are standard for that type of device, so we know what's, what's its LAN IP address, what's its WAN IP address, etc. And another thing that's important to know as you're looking at this information, is, is let's say I'm looking at this server, you can actually create a service ticket that's tied right to this device just by clicking that ticket button there. And now you could say, you know, hey, I need more memory in the server or whatever, and not only will we get the ticket, but that ticket will also be tied to that specific piece of hardware. So there'll be no question about what server you wanted us to look at the memory on, etc. I'm not going to open a ticket there, I just X'd out of there and closed that down. And so this is the, the, what the records look like. Um, again, your list is going to vary. You're going to have more things or less things depending on what we're managing for you. But at any point in time, you can come in here and see what you've got, see you know, what's on the list and, and what's going on. You may not see everything in there. Um, not every type of device that we keep a configuration record for is available through the call tracking portal. So just keep in mind that this isn't necessarily 100% of everything we're managing for you necessarily. If you've got another question, you may just want to give us a call and have us look an item up for you and tell you what we know about it. So that's the configurations chunk. And um, we'll probably visit some of these other sections of the call tracking portal in other sessions. But for today, we're going to end this one up. And thanks for watching.